Is the iPod Nano third generation obsolete yet? Or is it even usable? Let's find out. The iPod Nano 3rd generation closely resembles the iPod Classic, except just in a mini form factor. This device was released on September 5th, 2007, alongside the iPod Classic 6th generation. This device could be also configured up to 8GB of storage compared to the iPod Classic's 160GB. This device had a solid state drive, so people could run with it without damaging the internal hard drive of the iPod Classic, which was very common at the time. As you can see, this iPod has a click wheel, and it actually clicks when you spin it. Um, and uh, some newer models actually had built-in speakers in here, which is kind of nice. This one only has a click speaker, which is a special speaker meant to make clicks. It doesn't play anything else but click noises. So um, there's that. And along with on the back, you have a chrome design. In fact, you can see me. Hello. <laughs> But yeah, um, back then this device had a chrome design. Um, this was the only iPod actually to have that. Um, the only Nano series that had a chrome design except for the Shuffle, which also had a chrome design, the third gen. But then again, that's quite newer, I think. But Apple was going big with their uh, chrome design on the back. You can see it's quite scratchable. Um, it's definitely not the best, but um, the iPod Classic had it. So did the iPod Touch at the time. Um, they've all had the chrome backs and if it's not chrome and some other shiny metal I heard it's chrome then tell me in the comments um, and correct me I don't really care now um, the iPod classic um, came this is not a classic but um, the iPod classic came a bigger storage configuration at around 80 to 160 gigabytes you can get big uh, you could get big iPod classics but the nano you could only get at maximum, I'm gonna wipe this off real quick. You could only get this iPod at eight gigabytes. Yeah, there's my face again. Um, yeah, you could only get this iPod in eight gigabytes as the maximum storage size. You could get it in four and eight gigs, and that's just how it was. You couldn't really change that at all. So, um, yeah, the operating system on it is pretty much exactly the same. I'm just gonna focus it a little better. It is exactly the same as the classic versions are. Um, and you can see it uses the side panel here which shows uh, re or recent, which shows content uh, that is related to whatever is highlighted. As you can see, games shows a dice thing. Alarms, well, well, it just shows a clock. I don't have any alarms. And contacts, obviously I don't have any in. Um, but yeah, now this iPod does lack quite a bit of features, such as it has games. It doesn't, has no touch screen, obviously. Um, it has games and you can click on that and it comes with the built-in ones. Uh, you can download more if you know how. I think you need an older version of iTunes to do that though. And um, many features are just not available. Like notes is a feature and it will, and that's kind of nice, but you can see it does not actually allow you to, if my camera wants to focus, it says out of you and create notes. Um, you can enable your iPod for disk use. That's actually, I think, grayed out and on now. I don't think you can change that anymore. Um, and you can just drag notes into the folder, but that's a computer related feature. You need a computer in order to use that. Now, you can't, there's no store. This device has no Wi Fi or Bluetooth, so there is absolutely no way to actually get this to um, work with Wi Fi. Unless there's some guy who hacked it, I don't remember, but um, they were able to put Wi Fi on a classic, I think. And, but that still wouldn't grant you to any store. Like you can see, you have to sync. All these things here, like if I click videos and movies, there's no, doesn't let me do anything. You need to, there's no options to buy things too. You need to sync them over to a computer. So if you do not have a computer, do not buy this because you will not be able to do anything with it apart with the built-in games and you can read the um, instructions for fun, I guess. It, this device does not have any speaker in it except for the click speaker, which is designed for like more, I wouldn't say haptic feedback, but it's pre-haptic feedback. You can turn it off as well if you don't want it on. As you can see, I can do, um, let me think. I don't know where it is, but clicker, that's where it is. Um, place around, screw the speaker, headphones only, that's an option, both, and then off if you don't want any sound when you move it around. So you can see now I have no sound when I move this around. I honestly prefer having it speaker. Um, it's just a lot nicer that way because then I can 
I don't have to have headphones plugged in in order to hear stuff from it. And also, just to let you know, the iPod Touch first generation also has a click speaker in it. It does not have a, an actual speaker. Okay, so I just got back down and I have my iPod Touch here. Um, it is also a chrome design. I'm going to clean it off a little bit first. So you can see this one has a lot more scratches in it than this one. They're both eight gigabytes. And you can see that um, this iPod right here is a little bit thicker as well. Sorry, <laughs> I'm just a little out of breath because I had to run up and down the stairs and do some stuff. They both have the 30 pin dot connector. Um, you can charge them both using the same charger pretty much. And you can see this one also has, these both have headphone jacks so I can you can easily listen to music out of both of them. And you can see this one has a power button uh, right here and this one has a switch. And you can see that doesn't exist here. And I'm gonna flip these over and you can see the difference. <laughs> So you can see this one, I just slide to unlock. So yeah, you can see this one, obviously it's a touch, so I can um, move around here. But the main attraction I was trying to talk to you guys about was the click speaker. They both have that. I'm gonna, you can hear that this one makes a click noise when you press the keyboard. It makes a click noise when you uh, charge it as well. It makes a little tone. You can see that just does that. There's no keyboard on this one, obviously. Um, and then you can see here, this one lock makes a lock noise. You can hear that click. And that's probably gonna be it for this iPod. I'm not, I'm not focusing on it. And obviously this one, it doesn't even make a noise when you lock it, but you can see it just puts a little lock up there. And, just, oh yeah, I forgot to mention this. The lock feature makes it so no buttons, it disconnects this. I think it um, disconnects it, or at least just by software, makes it so none of the buttons work. So, that's that. Could you use this in 2019? You technically could. In fact, it wouldn't even be considered really obsolete. Um, Apple doesn't support this anymore. The latest version that you can actually run on this is version 1.1.3, which might sound bad, and it kind of is, but um, in fact, there's no... Oh, there it is. Um, let me see. Yeah, version 1.1.3 is right here, and it says Mac because I used a Mac to uh, format it, which makes sense. And yeah, the operating system on here is quite small, and you saw it say 100 mega, 160 megs. It's actually less than that, as um, I put 15 songs on here. So you can see 15 songs is in use, and that made, made, uh, is taking up that space. You could technically just get a little more if you knew how to use the notes feature, which I do, so I'm probably gonna delete that one text document explaining how to use the notes and that gives you a little space as well um but the games here's something that actually bugs me like crazy is i don't want to use this ipod for games like you can see there are three on here and you're probably like oh you could just delete these you cannot actually delete these using any method there is no method at all to delete the games on here and that's something i honestly hate there's no you can't hold the button for it to do something it'll just open it if you let go so actually it didn't that time but yeah, now you can see this does have quite a bit of features. It has a clock feature, which no, I do not live in California, just to let you guys know. It has a calendar, obviously there's the calendar, um, which are all calendars. Pretty watch style calendar, actually. I'm gonna pop into the calendar app here on my watch. They did modernize it, obviously, quite a bit here, but you can see they definitely took, they don't know if they took inspiration here, but this is the day-to-day, -day. no events, no duh. So yeah, that's pretty much that. Um, could you use this iPod today? I think it's completely plausible. If you're gonna use it just for music, um, I definitely think you could do that. Um, so go pick one of these up for yourself if you wanna just have a little distraction-free music device. In fact, there's actually rumors of a new iPod Classic uh, being released. In fact, um, I was actually gonna mention in this video, do not try to take one of these things apart. If yours is broken, mm, you might just wanna buy a new one. Like, let's say your battery's fry like it's shot just behind a new ipod it is way too hard to just <laughs> take this apart unless you have something special on like an engraving here then i would definitely try but um in fact there's actually a youtube video from geek detour who actually had an ipod classic it's the bigger model of this one and he like explained how much of a nightmare it is go subscribe to him if you uh if you're interested in that stuff uh he actually broke the clip off that connects to the little headphone jack here um i think it might be on a different location on the classic but <clears throat> Yeah, I do. I don't have a classic. I wanted to buy one, but they were upwards to $200 on eBay. So it was very expensive. So if you're going to go for a device, 
like you want to store your whole music collection on, then get an iPod Classic. It'll be better for you. Get the seventh gen if you can. It's the one that runs the same thing as this one. Um, if you don't want to do that and you just want to have a small amount of music, eight gigabytes is plenty for me. Uh, for my music, I barely have anything, so that's why, <laughs> that's why it's perfect for me. Yeah, I barely have anything, so, um, yeah, in fact, I think the 15 songs on here, it's not everything I own, but it's pretty much most of what I own. Uh, I own about 30 songs, I think. In fact, no, that's not most, but maybe 25 songs, I think that's all I own, but um, I was planning on maybe putting SoundCloud on songs on here, like maybe things I make, um, so that's one thing. And just use the download feature on SoundCloud and put some things on here because having distraction-free music is definitely something I have wanted. So yeah, guys, I would definitely say that this iPod is not obsolete, not yet at least. Um, it's obviously very feature limited, so you're not gonna get all the features uh, that you'd want out of like, per se, even an old iPod, which this one's far obsolete. If you're trying to do, use this for what it was served for, it is completely obsolete. Like you can't even download new apps on here anymore. I mean, you can download a couple, but those are from the weirdos who keep their keep their who keep their keep their things uh, who forget to update everything. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, did you like what you saw? Then click the subscribe button down below and give me a like if you liked it. If you want to, you can also comment. I will probably reply to anything that's replyable. <laughs> And if you have replies, turn on. If you have them off and you want me to reply to something, I'm sorry, I just won't reply to you because I can't. So. So yeah, I'm just gonna put this down so I don't drop it again. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you all later. Bye, guys.